on the biggest MMORPG server in Minecraft, there are these things called, collections. Every time you collect an item, it counts towards your collection. There is a different collection for each unique item in Skyblock. Once you reach a certain level in a specific collection, you unlock a new perk or recipe. That is how collections work. But to some egotistical people, collections are not just an imaginary number that lets you unlock some imaginary things. To these few, collections are a way of life. People are meant to control their collection. But they let their collection, control them. So, who are these crackheads? Emma Squid Kid. Former UHC fan. And host of Hypixel Skyblock Hurdle Races. And Technoblade. Holder of the world record for the longest bed wars win streak. And Skyblock no life or loser. It all started off when Techno enslaved 20 potato minions to get hot potato books. Then it all went downhill. He was going for the number one potato collection, held by Squid Kid. You probably know everything that happened so let's just say that months pass and he is now at 500 million potato collection. With multiple layers of potatoes, 24 tier 11 potato minions with catalysts, fly catchers, and so on. But with potatoes, comes clout. There have been many attempts to pass him in potato count. Let's take a moment of silence to laugh at all of them. <laughs> Okay I'm done laughing let's get into the video. How long does it take to beat Technoblade in potato collection? After hundreds of millions of coins down the drain, as well as the hopes of getting any normal career and hundreds of hours, we will assume he is at 500 million potatoes. Although it's a lot higher because there are rumors he is going for 1 billion potatoes. First, we will need to calculate how fast you can manually farm potatoes, and how fast minions can produce them. With a level 100 rabbit pet, 24 tier 11 potato minions, catalysts, farming crystal, and a bunch of other minion related things, the optimal production back then was 1,759,000 potatoes every day. But times have changed. You can now get up to 29 minion slots. And the hyper catalyst is now the best fuel. So that brings it to about 2,833,000 potatoes produced every day. That's about 118,000 potatoes made every hour. Now let's calculate how many potatoes you can farm every hour alongside minion production. At max speed and farming one row at a time you can break about 13 potatoes every second. In vanilla Minecraft, a fully grown potato crop drops on average 3.71 potatoes. In Hypixel Skyblock, there are many factors that increase your crop yield. Harvesting 5, by a factor of 62.5%. Farming 50, by a factor of 300%. And a level 100 legendary elephant pet, by a factor of 25%. And no, the rookie hoe does not give more potatoes. I tested this with a normal diamond hoe with the same enchants and pet equipped, and got the same amount of potatoes. Since the replenish enchant allows you to automatically replant potatoes and the super compactor crafts enchanted potatoes for you, you can farm for hours straight without any interruption. Every hour, you break about 44,000 potato blocks, taking into account you have to slow down a bit every time you turn. In vanilla, this gives about 163,000 potatoes farmed every hour. And if you add in all the possible high pixel sky block drop multipliers, you get about 1 million potatoes every hour from manual farming. So, manual farming and collecting minions constantly gives you about 1.12 million potatoes every hour. If Technoblade is somehow still at 500 million potatoes, it will take about 450 hours to beat this record. If he's at 600 million, it will take 535 hours. But if he is using the same tactics and your potato progression is actually just a parallel line that will never intersect with Technoblade, then you're basically screwed. Assuming he farms 10 hours every day and assuming you farm 11 hours every day, it will take 535 days to surpass him. Yikes. 
who knows how much he farms nowadays. Besides, he has some tricks up his sleeve. To some people, 500 hours is not a lot of time. But it's not as simple as spending time. He will manipulate you on all levels possible. He has tens of thousands of bloodthirsty supporters backing him up. He will use deception to trick you into thinking you are winning, until the very end. It's not very wise to take on him. Instead, go pick on second place, who is probably still at 500 million potatoes. In fact, 500 million potatoes is very doable. If you only spend 10 hours every day farming and collecting minions, it would take only about 39 days to reach it. The thing is most people spend their time getting a high skill average or something. Or being stuck in school. I don't see why so many people give up in this age of online school and increased productivity. They must be losers or something. Speaking of loser. Look at this guy. Lampy the Savage. The most recent rival. Rival being in quote marks. He started in the age of 29 minion slots, hyper catalyst, and abundance of free time because he lives in a country where people like spreading corona. It would be a month or two until he gets 500 million potatoes if he tries hard enough. But if Technoblade still farms then this man has a long way to go. And this is just a tip. Don't draw too much attention to yourself or else Technoblade will notice. No, not notice as in give you free clout. I mean notice as in he will send his goons after you and your life will become hell. Good luck to Lampy the Savage I guess. There are many supporters and many haters who think it's fake. How will this turn out? Leave your predictions in the comments down below. If you want to show your support, or unsupport, for him, join the Discord server in the description down below. Also, a lot of effort goes into each video so I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. We are so close to 5 million subscribers. Please. Okay, I'm done talking. Peace.